12. Sometimes a book is just too good to put down. And this is a story that we talked a lot about here today. And that's perhaps the only defense for a driver after he was pulled over for reading a novel. Fox 9's Ted Haller joining us now. And Ted, that does seem funny at first, but this is very dangerous. Yeah, you know, Kelsey, we've all looked out our window and seen that multitasking driver. Many of us are guilty of it. But now a driver in Egan has a new slip of paper that would make a great bookmark. And he's kind of weaving this way, weaving the other way. Weaving a yarn like a good mystery novel, so went this car on Egan's Highway 149. What are we looking at on our laptop or our tablet over there? 3361. I was reading. You're reading? Why are you doing that? I don't know. What are you reading? Uh, it's a James Patterson book. In this case, the plot twist came not from James Patterson, but from the writings of a citation. Nicest guy, um, obviously not the smartest thing to do while you're driving, very dangerous, uh, but he kind of got it. He knew he made a mistake, and uh, the officer went back and ended up giving him a citation. Driving while reading. Search YouTube. It's not a map. <laughs> it's a novel. You'll find more bookworm drivers and worse. He's on his cell phone and a Kindle. That is multi and a book. Just recently today, I've heard of a lady who's driving down the road with big curlers in her hair, and as she's driving, she's taking her curlers out with her knee up on the, the wheel. Egan Police spokesperson Aaron Moctimus said distracted driving is only getting worse, mostly because of smartphones. Especially during the day, you have a lot of accidents that people are um, texting or doing other things on their phone. And they look down for two seconds. That's when the person hits the brakes ahead of them and an, an accident occurs. One suggestion the officer had to avoid temptation put your smartphone on vibrate and then put it in the glove compartment. Are you able to drive with that thing down? I think so. Yeah. I don't, I don't <laughs> want to see you get hurt, and I certainly don't want to see you hurt anybody else over here because you would definitely feel terrible if, if that happened. Unlike the fate of some James Patterson characters, we can tell you this driver lives. This time, stay alive, don't novel and drive. Distracted driving kills 70 Minnesotans every single year and results in 350 serious injuries. But officials say that's probably an underestimate. And remember, if you hurt someone while texting, police can later find mm -hmm. that out. Kelsey and Jeff. All right, very important reminder.